another Discover Verb with Pastor Carl. We preached another good sermon yesterday on how the Holy Spirit empowers us in, to be in mission and go on mission for God. And you brought up a really good point yesterday of how we've all built up walls, whether physical or emotional or spiritual. Can you just elaborate for us how the Holy Spirit helps us build those down and, and break those apart a little bit? Yeah, and, and part of it is that that the walls, we're never going to be able to tear down the walls until the kingdom comes in its, uh, in its to totality, uh, totality at the end of the ages. Um, but you know, the Holy Spirit, I'm absolutely convinced, uh, breaches those walls and makes wide doors where we can go through in mission um, to people that maybe aren't like us, maybe mm -hmm. are different. I mean, as I said in the sermon, I, one of the things that's exciting is that we've got such a broad cross section of different types of people, and um, and that that's what the kingdom is all about. That's what God's will is all about. That's what being a divine being is all about. So, how do you do that? Well, you pray. You know, I think the thing that I said and I, the one I use, my favorite, is make me an instrument of your flight. Saint Francis is pray. And I'll, I'll look at someone and just say, Lord, make me an instrument of your flight. I, maybe I don't do anything. Maybe there's an opportunity to help that purpose, person. Um, and, and so there's, there, you just kind of have to let the Spirit do its work. And, and He will. So as we're divine image bearers, what does that look like in our lives? Like how do we know that we're actually carrying forth God's image into the world? Well, as I said, first of all, there, you know, just, I think I said, just as there's a thousand different types of genetics, you know, there's a thousand different ways to be divine image bearers. But do you look like Jesus? And do you look like Jesus in Scripture? That's so I have to thing. grow a beard to look no, like Jesus? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. <laughs> um, you have to, but how do you respond to people? Do you respond to people that you look like Jesus? Now, are you going to do that perfectly? Am I going to do that perfectly? No, we're going to fall far short. But you know, again, God's Spirit is helping us to grow up as we try that. You know, I go back to the belief of all quests. You trust, you learn about Jesus, mm -hmm. you learn together with God's people, believe, belong, and then you go out and bless. And as you do that, you mature in the faith. You know, you, God's Spirit works in you and brings you um, to where you're called to be. Yeah, and, and what I love is how we're all different, and it's the differences aren't meant to separate us, but help bring us together and learn from one another. So as the Holy Spirit is making those wide doors in our walls, we can see one another and learn from each other, just like the disciples did in, in Acts 2. Like, yeah. all the countries were represented pretty much, and they were hearing and learning from each other. So, yeah. so any closing thoughts for us as we go out and live our faith this week? Well, I, I'll just say, you know, responding to yours, and that is, you know, Paul talks about the Spirit working through the church like a body. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, there's all sorts of different body parts. And if the whole body was a thumb, it would be a pretty funny thing to look at. So I guess I would just encourage you uh, to pray and to step out and trust in faith. Well, thanks for joining us. Tune in on Wednesday with Pastor John. He's got a really good devotional thought for us. God bless you as you invite all people to discover their full life in Christ. Amen. Amen.